Hello everybody. How are you guys and girls doing? I hope well. I come to you from my research desk. I do a lot of research every day besides going to the library and buying books and reading and finding out the truth. So here's another truth for you. I'm not a doctor and I don't claim to be one and this is not medical advice. But what I found out is uh, salt. Salt is a very important essential nutrient for our body. We don't take enough salt in our food. We don't intake enough salt in our bodies. Uh, table salt is terrible. It's processed. Anything that humans have touched with the intention of bettering it or making it more convenient, just stay away from it. It's not a good idea. Rock, rock salts, Himalayan salt, Celtic salt, sea salt, anything in, in forms of rock is very important. Salt does not cause hypertension. Most of people that have hypertension, they're consuming a lot of sugar and carbohydrate. Cut the carbohydrates out and the sugars and watch your health improve. It's unbelievable. Uh, sodium uh, is important nutrient and it regulates the uh, fluids in your body. We are made in the like likeness of the ocean and the seas. We are salt water like almost 80% salt water. Uh, salt in history uh, was traded as ounce per ounce, like gold. Uh, it was very, very important. In fact, uh, the word salary comes from the word salt. And the word salud, salute in Latin, in uh, Italian, uh, salute in Spanish, salud, comes from the word salt. So do you think this is a coincidence or do you think salt is very important for you? I think salt, when I increased my salt intake on a daily basis, especially after I started the ketogenic diet, I literally sprinkle salt everywhere. And when I wake up in the morning, I have sole prepared. Sole, you make sole by dissolving uh, rock Himalayan salt or any other salt and you saturate until the water is saturated. So you keep stirring and adding, stirring and adding until uh, the rocks stop getting diluted, that's sole water, S-O-L-E, you can research it. It's very good for you, it's very very healing, it levels your uh, fluids in your body, it gives you almost 84 trace minerals uh, from the Himalayan salt. The Himalayan salt is 250 year, uh, million years old, so, and it has this beautiful pink color. You know, anything I listen to my body, anything that my body is attracted to, I think it's good for me. Uh, I am very rarely misled. Sometimes I'm misled more by research and information out there than I am misled by my gut gut feeling. So uh, this is a beautiful pink salt. I think it's 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 probably the best salt um, for you to intake. But sea salt is good. Celtic salt is good. There is a gray salt. I don't know what it's called. Maybe Celtic salt. They use it a lot in France. Um, every time I've been there, I've been given that salt. It's gray. Very very good. So that's, that's that, and then most importantly, I want to tell you about two more things. Salt has been uh, used in history to preserve. Salt is a preservative. It preserves things. If you see, in a, 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 even today in Europe, they put a lot of salt in a fish. They preserve everything that you want to preserve, you put salt. Even mummifying, the process of mummifying, you use salt in it. So if you intake salt, it will preserve you. It, and, uh, it's an antioxidant. It stops oxidation in the body. It preserves. It keeps everything healthy and whole. Uh, sugar, on the other hand, is a fermentation uh, product. If you want to do like uh, kombucha or stuff like that, you, put, you have to put salt to start the fermentation. And uh, when foods ferment, they, uh, like fruit and stuff like that, the fructose, everything comes out as sugar. So it's if you want to, do you want to ferment <laughs> your insides or do you want to preserve them? I want to preserve myself. I don't know about you, but I think you want to do the same, right? So salt is very good for us. Uh, uh, salt is, is, is alkaline as well. If you put, uh, you know, if you test the pH of the ocean and the seas, you will notice it's 8.4. And sugar, on the other hand, makes you acidic. Uh, so what do you want to do? Become acidic or alkaline? If you research a little bit on uh, the internet or the books or history, you will find out that 
uh, a body that's alkaline doesn't host bad bacteria and viruses. If the more acidic you are, the more diseases you will have. You will have ulcers, you will have stomach discomfort, you will have, uh, you know, ca candida. A lot of things thrive on sugar. So, um, quit sugars, add salt every day to your food. Again, I'm not a doctor, research this, be, be your own doctor, but this is my take on it. And don't forget to take bath salts. Um, I mean, salt, uh, yeah, bath salt. So what you do is you put either sea salt or any uh, dead sea salt or regular sea salt. Don't put table salt. It's not good for you. Like I said, I don't know why humans would think they're smarter by creating something that modifying nature. Uh, also, salt, sodium is essential for our health and it goes hand in hand with magnesium. So if you can do Epsom salts as well, it would be very, very good for you. We are all deficient in uh, magnesium and I'm gonna make uh, another video about magnesium. But uh, I do sometimes um, uh, uh, magnesium, uh, you know, uh, Epsom salt uh, baths and sometimes I do sea salt baths. All right, I hope this information has helped you to become healthier and uh, learn more. And thank you for watching me. Please give this video a like if you like it and subscribe to my channel. I'm coming up, uh, I'm um, bringing you information every day about health and um, uh, things that you cannot find out there. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.